Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, welcome to the reading of the monetary policy statement for February 2024. I will begin by introducing myself. My name is Kenneth Egesa. I'm the Director of Communications Department, Bank of Uganda. Let me also introduce uh, the team before you. I'll start with uh, the Deputy Governor, Mr. Michael Atingi Ego, who's right in the middle of the table. Uh, on, his, on his left is uh, Dr. Twine Manzi Tumuweine, who is the Executive Director of Supervision. And on his right is Dr. Adam Mugume, who is the Executive Director of Research. We are going to begin with uh, the reading of the statement. I'll request the Deputy Governor to read the, the monetary policy statement, after which there will be a question and answer session, which will take us up to two, and then we'll have the Uganda translation thereafter. So members of the media, those who are watching, on, uh, who are joining us on virtual calls, you're most welcome. Without further ado, I'll request the Deputy Governor, Mr. Michael Atingi Ego, to read the monetary policy statement. Deputy Governor, you're most welcome. Thank you. Um, thank you, Kenneth. A very good afternoon. February 6, 2024, the Monterey Policy Committee, NPC, maintained the central bank rate, CBR, at 9.5%. The incoming data has broadly confirmed NPC's decision in of December 2023's assessment of the inflation outlook. Both headline and core inflation rose in January 2024 2.4% from 2.6% and 2.3% in December 2023, respectively. However, inflationary pressures remain subdued, reflecting the continuing vanishing effect of the supply side shocks, deadline inflation around the world and tight monetary and fiscal policies. In addition, improved domestic food supply at the back of favorable weather conditions has driven down food inflation. A favorable balance of payments and tight monetary policy have also helped to stabilize the exchange rate and this has reduced stronger domestic inflationary pressures. The inflation forecasts have been revised up slightly in the short term, that is the 12-month horizon, in light of the relatively stronger exchange rate depreciation in the recent past, but are projected to remain below the medium-term target of 5%. Inflation is projected to stay around 3% through the first half of 2024, broadly reflecting stable demand conditions and the global price pressures, which are expected to continue to flow through to domestic prices over time. Core inflation is projected to rise to between 4.5% to 5% in financial year 2024, stroke 25, and to remain around 5% in the medium term. Risk to the inflation outlook remain highly subject to changes in the global commodity prices and the global financial market developments. Instability in the Middle East is creating new supply chain disruptions and the threats of higher oil prices. In addition, the risk of heightened volatility in the global financial and foreign exchange markets remain, which could reverberate in the domestic foreign exchange market. Indeed, 
the recent shilling movements against the US dollar are primarily driven by external factors and if sustained, could result in higher inflation despite the easing of global inflation. Furthermore, renewed global supply disruptions could reverse global disinflation and delay the easing of monetary policies in advanced economies, leading to persistent portfolio outflows and exerting more depreciation pressures on the Uganda shilling. Economic growth continues to pick up, in part reflecting the waning drag on growth from the past tight monetary and fiscal policies. The recently released quarterly GDP by the Uganda Bureau of Statistics, UBOS, for the first quarter of financial year 2023 stroke 24, indicates a GDP growth of 5.3%, primarily driven by growth in household expenditure. The high frequency indicators of economic activity for the month of December 2023 suggest continued economic growth recovery in financial year 2023 stroke 24, with growth projected at 6%, similar to the December 2023 projection. Economic growth in the outer years is projected in the range of 6.5% to 7%. Growth will continue to be supported by recovery in external demand, as well as the low inflationary environment, which has boosted a recovery in household real incomes, stimulating consumer spending. In addition, investment expenditures continues to be supported by the strengthening activity in the oil sector. Nonetheless, the growth output remains subject to downside risks stemming from global uncertainties, including slower than expected global and regional growth, a resurgence of supply chain distortions if the geopolitical tensions escalate and broaden, and a tighter fiscal policy, in part due to unfavorable global financial conditions which could restrict government development expenditures. Furthermore, increasing government financing from the domestic banking sector could result in higher lending rates and crowd out the private sector from the credit market, thereby constraining household consumption and private sector investments. While the economy is evolving largely as projected in the December 2023 round of forecasts, considerable uncertainties remain. Overall, the risk to the outlook for inflation continue to be tilted on the upside. Therefore, the MPC decided that keeping the CBR unchanged was necessary to anchor inflation around the medium-term target. Consequently, the CBR was maintained at 9.5%. The bands on the CBR at plus stroke minus two percentage points, and the margins on the CBR for rediscounts and bank rates at three and four percentage points, respectively. As a result, the rediscounts and the bank rates will remain at 12.5% and 13.5% respectively. This monetary policy stance is consistent with the current assessment of inflation and the growth prospects and remains supportive of socio-economic transformation. Bank of Uganda monetary policy decisions will continue to be based on the incoming economic and financial data. There ends the reading of the monetary policy statement for the month of February 2024. Thank you for your kind attention. Thank you very much, Deputy Governor, Mr. Michael ating -Ebo. We will now go straight into the question and answer session. We will first take questions 
from journalists in the room. Please raise your hand and when you are called upon, introduce yourself and the media house you represent and then present your question. Who's ready to go? You're still digesting the statement. Okay, we'll go online and see who's on with any question. I don't see any questions in the chat. There's a question from Richard Barungi. And the question is, what, for, what foreign exchange policies, if any, given the challenge, challenges of FX liquidity? So I'll repeat. What are the forex policy changes, if any, given the challenges of forex liquidity. There is also a comment uh, from David Chaligonza who says he missed the reading due to the sound quality. We will have the statement on the website immediately after here. So David, kindly go to our website to access the statement. Thank you, Kenneth. Uh, so Richard, you asked a question. Let me just make sure that I, I get it correct that what are the foreign policy changes, you know, foreign exchange policy changes, if any, given the challenges of FX liquidity? Can you confirm that's the question? Okay. Um, let me begin by saying I'm not very sure what you mean by FX liquidity, the challenges in FX liquidity. I think the challenge that we have had that relates to FX is the drawdown of our FX reserves. That is the challenge that we've had. But in the market, you can go to the market right now. Your constraint is the Uganda shilling. And of course, the amounts, if you are purchasing more than $10,000, there are certain, certain things you have to, to inform uh, you know, the agents about. But the FX liquidity out there is only constrained by the amount of Uganda shillings. So, but to address the challenges of the declining FX reserves, we have minimized our interventions on the sell side to the market. Uh, we last intervened in the foreign exchange market on the sell side in the first week of June, 2022. To date, we have not sold any 
foreign currency into the market, largely because we are aware of the fact that our reserves were running low. And the reserves were, were running low because of the following one. We normally uh, build reserves by purchasing dollars which come in through portfolio inflows. But because of the inflationary environment in the advanced economies, the central banks of those economies began to raise interest rates and thereby reducing the risk appetite for the investors who are coming into our markets. So we saw a reversal. First of all, a reduction of the portfolio flows that were coming in, but was still a reduction, a withdrawal of the investment by this portfolio flows in our market, which resulted into a loss of foreign currency and also reducing the capacity to build foreign currency. So that largely explains why the effect results have come down. Notwithstanding the fact that we have some heavy debt repayment obligations which are made through the central bank. So that is really the key challenge that we have had that is related to the foreign exchange issues, the rundown of the foreign exchange reserves. But because we have tightened monetary policy, and the balance of payments has improved. We've managed to, 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 to maintain relative stability of the exchange rate while ensuring that this liquidity, FX liquidity in the market. So the key challenge we've had is a rundown in the FX reserves. But we are, of course, putting in place policy measures to rebuild those reserves. And we will make sure that we maintain the uh, the four months of import cover that we want to to achieve for now, and then move to the ESC target of 4.5 months of import cover going forward. Thank you. Uh, we have another one from uh, David Chaligons from uh, Nabat Rogadia and it's similar to the one you have answered so they say uh, we have recently seen signs of weakening of the shilling against the dollar what is causing it and what action is BOU taking I'll read another one so that they can be taken together this is from Ali Twaha and the question is, how many SFIs have indicated a possible downgrade of their license as a result of higher minimum capital rules? Maybe we could take those and then come back for another round. Okay. Um, thank you. I think um, you're right, because even in my statement, I did mention the fact that uh, that we have recently had relatively strong action rate depreciation in the recent past. And that is contributed by a number of factors, but the main one is there's a seasonality impact. Normally in the quarter to the end of the, of the calendar year, we see appreciation pressures on, on the currency. And these appreciation pressures are a result of increased remittances into our market from those in the diaspora and also weakened demand for forex by the various firms and what have you as we move into the Christmas season. But at the beginning of the calendar year, we normally see a depreciation in the currency because after this, the, uh, the, um, the holiday season, the, there is a resurgence in demand as activity picks up and also there is a reduced inflow on account of the factors which led to the appreciation in the quarter ending the calendar year. So this is a seasonal factor. But of course, <clears throat> there are also some other factors beyond um, the seasonal factors. The demand has picked up largely by a number of the oil firms 
energy and other energy companies, telecommunications. And it's also reflective of the fact that the manufacturing sector in Uganda is now demanding for more raw materials in order to finance their operations. So that partly explains um, why the currency has depreciated in the recent past. And there's the, the, the general strengthening of the dollar, particularly against its currencies of emerging and frontier countries, which partly explains why we've seen a recent weakening. But the other thing that I want to emphasize is our exchange rate is market determined. It depends on the supply and the demand conditions. And the stability in the currency does not mean to say that the currency or the exchange rate should be fixed. I think the stability that we're talking here about is that the changes in the currency should not cause uh, customers to make drastic decisions on their plans because the currency is changing. We are just minimizing those movements in a manner to allow the agents to continue with their business on a daily basis, but allowing the currency to be market determined. Thank you. There was a second one on uh, SFIs and minimum capital. Um, uh, thank you, Deputy Governor. I think the first thing we have to understand is banks are not downgrading because of the capital requirements. Banks are downgrading, at least the cases that we have been approached about, because one, there's been heightened competition, I think, post-COVID. Two, a number of them have been reviewing their business models. And three, even the strategic direction and focus of the kind of customers they want to serve. So when a bank makes a business decision about which market it wants to enter or exit or what customer niche it prefers to serve, and then as a consequence makes the determination that it's better, it can better serve those customers at a lower or higher tier, that is not because uh, there was a capital increase or capital, a higher capital requirement. It just happens to be a coincidence. And I think this is something that the central bank would like to provide clarification on, and we have seen the reports online to this effect. Thank you. Okay, we'll turn to the room. Um, so if there are no questions, we will head into the translation and maybe finish earlier. Oh, okay, since there are no questions online and there are no questions in the room, we'd like to bring the reading of the monetary policy statement for February 2024 to a close. Uh, we will then have the Luganda translation. Thank you very much, Mr. Michael Ting Ego, Dr. Adam Gume, and Dr. Tine Manzi. Okay. Um, um,
statement ya yomyuka wa governor wa bank enkulu ya Uganda ikwata ku BNCB eyo mwezi ogwe kubiri a uh, omwaka omwaka abiri abiri mwena amyuka um, governor atangazi zanti akachiko uh, kibaita monetary policy committee kasa zewo okuleka akabonero ketwa kaza kelinye ya central bank rate kubitundu mwenda no butundu tano abuli uh, 10 a uh, chino chongedde okukatiriza Cheva alibate seza kwa mwezo ya goku minebidi, bidi ya bidi mwesa tu. Uh, Eda yonge denata anga zanti okutuwa aliza wa mu, enchuka chuka ya mwendo jevi intu, ye yonge de okulinya, uh, okutuka kubitundu, bibidi, nobutundu mnana uli chukumi, okufa kubitundu, uh, bibidi, nobutundu mkaga uli chukumi mwezo ya goku minebidi. Uh, Nata anga zanti wadogo guli gutio, tula bienti okutuwa aliza wa mu, ebugu mu, eri enchuka chuka ya mwendo jevi intu, this is the Okuyonge Doku Kakana, Oku Oku Banti, Oktuari Zawam, a Bulari Abi in Tweria, the Quatali, the related dance on Gazenja Ulo, Gobu Samba to Kobali Munse Zenja Ulo, the Genzeri Kendera, and Chukachukan Majevi in two Munsiot Na, Naye Genze Kakana, Ate, Nente Katekaza government in a bank as a ne bank in Kuru, as in Sezo, Nazo the Yonge de Okende is a Dara Kum Chukachukam and the Javi in Na yonge la nata anga zanti, kutuwa lizamu nebe ye mele, ye yonge do kukakana, uluku banti tuafu na obude obulu unji, obuwa yonge la obunji we mele kukatale, echo nechika kanya emuendo je mele. Nata anga zanti, uh, ensubula gana ya yugana na manga amala, obamu lufutu futu jetuwa kaza hako balance of payments, awamu nengkola ya bank enkulu ya Uganda, na yoya yonge la okulaba anti empanyi siganya ya siringi ya Uganda na mawanga amalala, Na yu yali nga nzikakamu echa, kilisa, echa, echa sobo zesa Nchuka chuka yu muendo jevi ntu okukakani la dala Beba kubie muka tochi maso Bala bie nti nchuka chuka yu muendo jevi ntu Beba jitebeze mezu kuminevili ya jidja maso e Yambu seko katono uroku banti Siringi ya Uganda Jine mieze jise ebili Eba de eserebie mubo jugera geranya na mawanga galiga na gwada nga amerika na ye na tanga zanti wadengo goguli gutio tebala banti okutuwa liza wamu nchuka chuka mendo jevi nitu ija kuchuka nyo mwaka guno ogwa bili ya bili muena ilaba tebele zanti ija kubwa kubitundu uh, bisatu avuli uh, chukumi mchitundu echisoka okubwa mjano alipaka mjuni ilaba tunagendo kumala ko mwaka guno uh, tunagendo kutani kwa mwaka ogwebi nsimbi ogudja nga echali wansi we bitundu bitano buli chikumi na tanga zanti na ye obukonge obuyinza okwambusa enchuka chuka mwendo je bintu eno bwesigame kukuba kwebyo ebitundibwa ebweru wa mawanga ewe ebitundibwe bweru we ganga awamu nebinabera mbutale bwe nsimbi mu mawanga gonno kutwaliza awamu ne yongera na tanga zanti tusandise okulaba nti obusamba tuko Mu Middle East na bubu yinza okutabangula ebeyi ya mafuta Na yungira mu na alaganti okutuwa liza wa mu Ebyo singa nchuka chukwa we Empanisi ganya ya sente mu mawanga gali a, Ye yungiro kuchuke nyo Yoki nzo kosa empanisi ganya ya sente a, mu Uganda a, Okutuwa liza wa mu Na jana atanga zanti a, enaku, a, e, e, Miezi ejise ko ebili e, Silingi ya Uganda wajigira ganya na mawanga amalala Eba de e yonge doku seleba mu Anawe nsonga ezuwe lako Nti owe tavuwa dola Bwe yonge de mkatale Atela na alambula Nti mbade mune chetuwa ita Tine season ya zo Oloku vanti tuwa itufu de Mbakuba cheyo Abazile tanga mdesemba Atela katitu zeyo nga naba makolero Abazile taga Beba kubie tochi mubie mkula akulana mumaso Abala bala zenti tula bienti okutuwa liza wamu Ebi mkula akulana Biku lide kubitan, kubitundu bitano No tuntundu busatu bulichikumi Mu miezi jino esatu Ejise okusinzira kubos Eda na akubane mtochi na alaganti Ebi mfuna vye yonge de Okwe bulula Eda omaka guwe vye nsimbi Bili ya bili mwesatu Bili ya bili mwena guna geno tugwe ramu Ngatuli kubitundu mukaga bulichikumi Ana alaganti mumi yake jidja maso bili ya bili muetano Bili ya bili mukaga bili ya bili musambu Bate bili zanti ya bifuna bili guanga bija kuya kubitundu mukaga No bitundu butano bulichikumi paka kubitundu musambu Paka kubitundu musambu bulichikumi 
ebiye nkula kwa na mbiye sikani zidua kubanti obwetavu webi ntuwe tunde wa mawanga malabi jakwe yongera ateno kukakanya enchuka chikwa emendo jebi ntu okutuwa alizawamu echijuo kuongera embavu musente ze tusasanya nga maka agenja ulo ate nensasanya mu kusima mafuta echo na chochi jakwe yongera okutuwa alizawamu ane ina alaganti enkula enchu e, enkula kula na yen season na eyinza okendera mu sorry eyin boba kuba tochi maso alaganti a uh, obukonge obuyinzo kwesigambwa ko buyinzo kuva mu katale ke season na akayinza okukendeza mu kukula ku speed yenkulye byenkula akulana obusamba tuko obuli mawanga amalala buyinzo okuongera ne buzingamya entambula yebintu Singa na mawanga galige yongero kunyweza mu kusasanya ensimbi echo nacho kinzo kukosa mu engeri je tusasanya mu gwanga lya tuli no Uganda ne cyo yongera okulaga anti chikendeza mu akubye mfuna ebye gwanga era amumyuka governor na na maliriza anga agama anti okusinzira ko ebyo ne bimenye dawa guru basaze obaleke akabonero ke twakaza ke ya central bank rate ku tundu mwenda no butuntundu butano buli chikumi Era naraganti bino byonna bikoleddwa okuongera okuwagira enchuka chuke yo mugundu mbyenfuna era e, 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 era uh, ente e, ente kateke eno ejja kuongerwa mu amanyi okusinzira ku abwino anaba ko akunganyizidwa ku byenfuna ne byenkula kulana mu gwanga lya tu Uganda byebyo mu bufunze a uh, mumyuka wa governor byayogedde ko mu statement yenu